Okay. Welcome to Appetite for Cooking. All right. <laughs> We're back. And uh, this is part of the brunch set. And today, we are going to be doing two different varieties of mimosas. We're going to be doing a non-alcoholic. Okay. And an alcoholic version. Okay. Yes. Now, mimosa, by definition, predominantly is a fruit juice, like an orange juice, a strawberry, banana, mango, whatever kind of juice um, you have a liking to, along with um, champagne or sparkling wine, and a little shot of grenadine or um, some kind of a syrup. And um, that's pretty much a mimosa. So, today we are going to start out with uh, the non-alcoholic variety for all the guys out there that like non-alcoholic. You can see me and B have cute little flutes right here with our initials on B and J. Okay. So, for B, we are going to do the non-alcoholic variety since this is just the start of her alcoholic version, um, journey. <laughs> so, what we're going to do first, gang, is we're going to come in with some OJ. All right, give him a little shake, get it going. You see, we got some ice cubes going here in the flute. And we're going to just throw a little bit of OJ in there. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some sparkling cider. Okay, this is. Martinelli's gold medal sparkling cider right here and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to top off the flute a little bit some people will take this clear to the brim I generally don't do that I leave some room to operate for the most part and then we're going to come back with grenadine grenadine is sort of like a cherry pomegranate flavored syrup it's used to give highlights And the like. And there you go, guys. We'll give it a little bit of a pop of the spoon. And you can see the beautiful coloration going on. And there you go, gang. That is a non alcoholic mimosa. So you might have to take the first round of that, my love, since it's uh, the unlettered version. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Good stuff? Mm-hmm. All right. Good stuff. If she approves, that's a success. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll take a look at that for that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's see what we got. Mm-hmm. So this is typically something they would drink with breakfast? People would drink with breakfast? It's kind of a brunch thing. Sir, like, remember when we went to Sandals? Yeah, that's what I remember. The champagne breakfast? Yes, yes. Yeah, the champagne breakfast. <laughs> You had some people there that really partook of that champagne breakfast. It was hilarious. <laughs> I've never been one to do it, but it's more of a brunch thing. Okay. And you had bottles popping. <laughs> I mean, it was like, well, I mean, you're in Jamaica, you're in the Bahamas. Um, enjoy. Yes. So, but when we were in Jamaica, Ocho Rios, you had bottles popping. <laughs> like, yes, that's like, what I remember like they a had a rapper's it. party going <laughs> on. It was hilarious. Mm. Nice Let's flavor. Get some flavor notes here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we have the um, sparkling cider, which yes. has apple notes to yes. it. Then you have the orange, mm -hmm. which is actually not acidic. Not acidic, and yes. it's diluted by the sparkling cider. Yes. And then the grenadine, again, is a cherry pomegranate flavoring. So as well as it gives it a pretty color, it gives it an air of sweetness that mm -hmm. is very well. Mm -hmm. So that's the non-alcoholic version. So now it's time to go to full lighter version and have some fun. So we're going to come back in with some OJ gang. Mm -hmm. So we got some OJ going on. Yes. Now we have an unopened body bottle of Martini and Rossi Prosecco. 
it's kind of a sparkling wine and pretty good stuff overall. It's been a while since I've had any of this. So, let's see what we got here again. Watch out for the... <laughs> yes. mm, sound of delightfulness. Alright, let's see what we got left. Let me see. And again. Mm -hmm. Take it up enough just to... Mm -hmm. Allow for some room mm -hmm. for you to put other things in. Uh -huh. Yes. Then we got a good old grenadine here, gang. Mm -hmm. I like the color pattern. It's very pretty. Mm. Mm. Kind of more mm -hmm. what you call a snooty tequila sunrise. <laughs> Put it that way. So you can see the coloration. You mm -hmm. got a nice, mm -hmm. lovely mm -hmm. pink coloration going mm -hmm. on, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of a layering effect. I mm -hmm. did hit it with a spoon. If you didn't hit it with a spoon, it'd probably have more of a distinguished layer pattern. Oh my, that's nice. I think you're going to like that. Mm -hmm. So it completely is a different. Oh, Other different. than the alcohol, I mean, as far as the flavor. Oh, it's completely. Okay. Totally different palette all the way around. Mm. Wow. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. It's a complete, of course, it's because it's different flavors too. We're, we're dealing with. Well, you got the baseline of the mm -hmm. orange juice mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. grenadine, mm -hmm. but that's nice. you got two different mm -hmm. spectrums here. You got mm -hmm. sparkling apple cider, yeah, and so you got dry mm -hmm. sparkling wine mm -hmm. totally totally different totally totally different, different levels yes 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 you're you're tasting a lot of the apple mm -hmm. the sparkling apple the, the the flavor of apple in this with a hint of citrus yeah which works well now this brings it up another level that's right and it actually Compliments gives you a, it's wine. a completely different flavor mm -hmm. it's very good. Very refreshing. Very good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you have a couple of varieties here. And again, you can use whatever fruit juice you want. If you want to use Lovely. pineapple juice, if you want to make your own medley of pineapple with the orange or whatever, mm -hmm. you can use whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But these are just kind of a uh, guidelines kind of mm -hmm. go by guys take the idea mm -hmm. run with it yes enjoy your brunch <laughs> and um i think you're gonna like the experience yes. what do you think babe you think we got a success here we definitely have a success both are different both are very nice tasting mm -hmm. either way you want to go whether you want to go alcoholic or non-alcoholic i could actually Actually, I'm thinking to myself, I must have missed quite an experience when we were in Sandals not to have tried one of these things. Because that would have been pretty awesome. Because if you think about it, us having our, our ackee and our fried dumplings <laughs> and tossing that back with one of those, that would be pretty, pretty good. <laughs> and this kind of ties into another video we did with the uh, Irish coffee. Um, guys, you know, I made a statement in there about ordering some Jamaican coffee. If you guys have never had the trope, the ability to go to Sandals, or if you're a family, probably Beaches Resorts, well, I can't comment on Beaches, but we have been to Sandals Resorts twice, mm -hmm. a lifetime ago. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. It was a great experience. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was delightful. Mm -hmm. Staff was wonderful. Everything was was a good, very good experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm, <laughs> I'm further put a pin in something. If you go sandals, go sandals, Jamaica. At least when we went to Ocho Rios. Or it, it's just a great introduction to the whole sandals resort. Mm -hmm. So at that time, we don't know where it stands now, but our experience still mm -hmm. remains very fondly in our memory. 
when we think of, of yeah. those vacations that we took. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jamaican organization. Sandals originated in Jamaica. And mm -hmm. I believe it's Montego Bay. And guys, I'll tell you, if you have the ability to go and experience that, it's a traditional couples only resort. And I guarantee you're going to have an exemplary time. <laughs> But back to mm -hmm. appetite for cooking. Mm -hmm. We're not sponsored by sandals. <laughs> no, we're not sponsored by sandals. <laughs> but this was actually a very good drink. And I very much recommend it. The different flavors that you have <coughs> when you taste it. Yeah. And it's a light drink. It's nothing that's going to really hit you hard or anything like <coughs> that. So. Yeah. For first experience for me, it's actually a very pleasant experience. So I strongly recommend this one too. Very nice. Yes. And then going back to the non alcoholic mm -hmm. variety. Mm -hmm. It has a very clean, mm -hmm. full taste. Yeah. You have a very dry, mm -hmm. sweet wine here with the Prosecco. Yes. But with the cider, yes. it actually gives a Fullness, believe it or not. And it's not too sweet. It's not it doesn't taste no. like it's too sweet. Like this sugary kind of concoction Which that's made. I would say yes. we could find some hard cider. It'd be interesting to see how, ah. how the robustness would continue on. That's very interesting. That would, would be very interesting. Well we uh, find a good line of hard cider. If you know any good hard ciders, put it down in the comments below. <laughs> but uh, we'll definitely revisit this recipe when we find a good hard cider. Mm -hmm because both are very nice. Mm -hmm. Agreed, absolutely. Very nice, and the, actually the apples give a great compliment. Mm -hmm. So, we recommend you try this drink. Thank you for joining us again on another episode of Appetite for Cooking, and we'll definitely would love to see you back again. That's right, guys. Enjoy your brunch. We'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.